Good morning, Sagittarians. Hello, everybody. Feels like I haven't done your reading in like a thousand years. So I'm glad to finally get back on the horse again. See that? We have a horse here in the Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely, we're getting back into the swing of things. All right, Saggies, extended reading. Get comfy. Grab your favorite adult beverage, favorite jammies, whatever it is, and we shall do this. Judgment, bottom of the deck coming in, and you got the Knight of Pentacles. Judgment is... It could be a, in a legal sense, but it's also eyes opening. It's it's no longer feeling like feeling stuck, you know, no longer feeling tethered to the old. It's just seeing things clearly and ready to enact in it. So let's see what's going on here. Could definitely be relationships too. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Saggy, Sagittarius. If you are a Sag, know a Sag, feel like being a Sag. Saggies, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Sagittarius and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as the main story and, or it could resonate as a cross watcher. This could be about you or for you is what I'm trying to say. All right, one more time around Sagittarius, one more time around. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sag. What is the energy for Sagittarians? They need to be aware of, not half the deck, please. What is the energy for Sagittarians they need to be aware of? There we go. Sorry, it's really sunny here. I don't even have any light on because it's so sunny. Look at that judgment reverse fell out between the queen of wands reverse ooh, and the world reverse i get pissed off i don't know why all right what's influencing the judgment reverse what's influencing the judgment reverse and the three of wands waiting for that ship to come in but you have a ship waiting for the right time to put the ship in the water why do i feel like this might be Mm. Well, let's get more cards out. Reason for the reading. Reason for the reading. The sun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Leo energy there. I get focused. Is that you focused? Someone focused on you. What's in the past? What's in the past for Sagittarians? Ace of Pentacles. Huh. That's a good one. Got the Ace of Pentacles here. What's on your mind? What's on Sagittarian's mind? Nine of Pentacles. You, you put these two together, you got a Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is the minor arcana card of the Empress, Virgo energy. And it's a feel-good energy. It's high vibrational. It's feeling clear and happy. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? The Fool. Wow, Saggies, I love this so far for you guys. I feel with the judgment reverse, some of you might not be where you want to be, but you have the patience knowing you're going to get there. In the meantime, whatever you're working on, it's building, it's building, and it, it feel, it's a really good energy. When I mean, the fool's a breakaway, let's do this. Let's, it's like, it's a very exciting, no plan kind of energy. How do you currently see yourself? How do you currently see yourself? Ace of Swords reverse. You have two aces. What's the energy coming in you don't see coming? Ooh, King of Swords. And see the female, see all the stars on her? I love it. And the Fool with this Aquarius energy right here. What are in your emotions? What are in Sagittarian's emotions? Eight of Swords. See, that is this judgment reverse. Eight of Swords is feeling still stuck where you are, but you already outgrew it. But see the stars above? It's like, I feel like this is why this is coming in and this is current. Because once you look up and see what you can have, you're never going to lose your way again. And see how she puts those stars and sews them on her gown. It's like, once this comes in and once you're free, you're never going to allow any situation to put you back into that place again. What is the outcome here for Sagittarians? What is the outcome here for Sagittarians? Okay, we got three cards. We got three. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to look at the bottom. You got 10 of cups right there. You got the lovers in the Wheel of Fortune. I'm glad I looked. Sagittarius. What the heck? Wheel of Fortune is, I feel like timing is on your side. And see the gear of under heart? Your life is moving forward. Lovers means 
taking, making, um, it used to be called the choice. So somebody's making the choice and a 10 of cups. Some of you have this nine of pentacles. You have somebody who believes in you and you believe in you and everything, but this is finally coming together. So it kind of does feel like a bit of a timing thing. Four of pentacles reverse and the queen of pentacles reverse. Something tried or the universe tried to hold you back, but they couldn't hold you back anymore. And it just feels like you're finally fearless, breaking free from a very resistant and muddy energy. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? All right. Judgment reverse center of the reading. I split the deck, both Virgo, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, it feels like something big is coming together. It really does. It's like a big change. And I think you're good with it. In fact, I think you want it. It's like if you've been dating somebody, maybe they're going to like pop a question for you. Whatever question that is. Um, it just feels like the next step here. Judgment reverse center of the reading. What is the judgment reverse? And I feel like you've been patient. You knew this was coming. Judgment reverse center of the reading for Sagittarians. And the world reverse. See, still a bit stuck trying to cut your ties with something. But the difference here is this energy isn't getting you down. Nine of Pentacles here and the sun. I, for some of you, you have somebody really good on your side. But there was a time this energy took everything from you and it made you doubt yourself. And you don't doubt yourself. You know who you are. And the Ace of Pentacles back here tells me something for some of you is already in your life. And I feel like they're patient. No, it's like they just want you. But something, it's like you've got a roadblock and you're just waiting for the proper, I wouldn't say authorities, that's the only word that keeps coming to my mind, the proper people to come and break that down. But that's that eight of swords. But sooner or later, I think you're going to realize you can, you're going to go around it. Instead of waiting, I feel like you're going to go around it, which is the fool here. Three of wands influencing, waiting for that right time. But I love the wheel of fortune. She holds a pocket watch. It's time. Three of Wands influencing this Judgment Reverse and the King of Swords. You got the female King of Swords. You got the masculine King of Swords. I feel like you are clear. You are strong. You have that sword in hand. But with the Ace of Swords Reverse, you're just waiting for the right information and the right time. That's what it really feels like because that's current. Sun, reason for the reading. What is the Sun energy? Leo energy, reason for the reading. Very focused judgment see two judgment reverses judgment reverses saying i know tara lady i i'm picking up what you're putting down but i can't do anything it's out of my it's out of my control at this time i gave a two-week notice i just gotta bide my time but i have a job waiting for me i have a place waiting for me i just have to wait this out but i'm happy because i know it's almost over ace of pentacles in the past what's the ace of pentacles in the past here yeah three of pentacles reverse this is where mentally it was over energetically it was over because something there was some type of offer back here some life-changing thing right here nine of pentacles on your mind virgo energy what's the nine of pentacles on saggy's mind but the wheel you see the wheel reverse same old same old but I feel like, like I said, the difference is, you know who you are and this, you, you have a very narky energy here. I'm not going to lie. You do. You have somebody who just, it's about them, but you realize it was, and it was never about you, but I do feel like there's a lack of communication. There is a cutoff energy, but it's like you're 90% there. That's what I'm getting. You're, it's like, you're 90% there. You did, it's your nine of wands going on here. You did all the hard work. You're just waiting and you're holding on. And it doesn't feel so difficult. It's starting to feel like, I, I think this is finally coming to an end here. This energy is finally coming to an end. You got the fool in the near future, Aquarius energy, maybe by Aquarius season. And that sounds long off, but it really isn't. Especially if you've been dealing with this for a year or two. If you've been in the darkness, if you've been holding on, if you've been fighting, Aquarius season's what, two and a half months away? Three months? 
what are we in October, November, December, January, three months. It's like, you can do it. You, and it's like, <laughs> I am like your cheerleader. You can do it, Sagittarius. You can do it. It just feels like something turns towards the end of the year. And luck finally turns in your favor. All right. The fool in the near future. What's the fool in the near future? And there's, you got the ten of swords reverse, almost at the end of a cycle. A lot of swords going on right here. Why the ten of swords reverse? And the eight of cups reverse. Somebody who's emotionally stuck or somebody who's, and I don't feel like this is you. I feel like pissed off or I feel like there it, it just feels vendetta but with the full energy and one this is a major and a major always overtakes the minor but I'm clarifying that to the fool I feel like somebody who tried to hold you back can't hold you back any longer let's go to the king of swords I actually kind of feel like this is being bestowed on you king of swords next to it because I feel like somebody's making a decision and this person is finally being cut free from the tailpipe of your chariot King of Swords, energy coming in you don't see coming. And the Hangman Reverse, Pisces energy. And I feel like somebody's kicking this person to the curb. I do. And I feel like it finally sets you free from this cage that this person tried to keep you in. Let's go here. Ace of Swords Reverse, currently how you see yourself. But the Three of Wands, yeah, waiting for that. You know what it is you want. That's the Three of Wands. You're just waiting for that right time. Until then... You're ready to go. It's like starting block, you know, either swimming or racetrack until you hear, you know, the, the whatever sound and you're just, you're in position. You're ready to go waiting for the go ahead to free you from this. Eight of swords in your emotions, Gemini energy. Four of pentacles reverse is a release. I like four of pentacles reverse is a let go energy in your emotions. Why the four of pentacles reverse? Look at that, Sagittarius. But there's the Ace of Pentacles. You have a Three of Pentacles reverse if you take a four minus a one. And back here, you have a Three of Pentacles reverse with an Ace of Pentacles. They match up. So Ace of Pentacles upright, Three of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Pentacles upright, Four of Pentacles reverse. This equals that card. I think some of you are holding on to your finger fingernails. I just looked at the clock. One, two, three, four which I see that a lot. I don't know if you guys do. I see that a lot. And one, two, three, four is a go ahead. I believe, look that up. I believe that life is starting to finally shift for you guys. You've been hanging in there, um, never giving up. You never gave up faith. You people beat you down and you didn't stay down. That's the difference. You know, some people being down, that's been their entire story. I can't do this. You don't know what I dealt, dealt with. I'm just going to sit here in a corner and feel bad for myself. But you didn't do that. And I feel like the universe is throwing you a bone and saying, you know what? It, you don't have to have it so hard. I feel like the major lesson here is boundaries and seeing people clearly for who they are and not try to see the potential of what you want them to be, but take them for who they currently are. You took in a stray back here and that stray tried to make you a permanent ATM or a permanent, your the couch, a permanent location. And whatever it is, I feel like you, you know, go moving forward. You've learned this lesson and you're not going to fall victim to this again. That's what I'm really feeling here. So Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, and the Ten of Cups, and the Outcome. The Wheel of Fortune, the Lovers, and the Ten of Cups, and the Outcome for Sag. And you're going to love this, Sagittarius. You're going to freaking love this. It's your card. Finally dropping the weight, Ten of Wands Reverse, which is that Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles we've seen twice. Okay. And oh my God, did you guys see how this fell out this look at this card the star upright nine of wands reverse queen of swords reverse that bitchy confined energy and then the star i feel like you're finally free from what has kept you back and now i feel like whoever this is has been very patient in the hermit and the page of wands it's like they knew they knew but they weren't i feel like some of you have someone in your life they're not going anywhere you know but it's just a timing thing 
and I feel like you're finally being cut free from what has just been so difficult. And some of you, this is a person, some of you, this is an energy that's been plaguing you. It's almost like a family generational thing. You know, you've been trying to break it and do something else, but no matter how many steps ahead you get, life kind of keeps pulling you back. And I just feel like for some of you, it's just kind of like, okay, I, this is my life now and I can focus on my life. And now you're going to make the best of it because you got a nine of pentacles here and you got a 10 of cups. So I just feel like luck is finally turning in your favor, Sag. You got the 10 of cups here and you got the wheel of fortune and the lovers. I mean, those are three power hitters. So I, 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 I really feel for who this reading is because I feel like you've been through the, you've been through the mill and I, maybe this is a past relationship or a friendship or a family, but some of you, this has just been an ongoing energy that's been plaguing you. You, you might even feel your entire life, but now you're turning the corner and you're doing things differently. Some of you are going to take a family branch, break it off and go plant it elsewhere and start over. You know, some of you are going into a new relationship. Some of you have a move, but the, the difference is, is you're in control and you are no longer just waiting around for people to live up to their potential and taking you for a free ride. It's just not happening anymore. So I do feel this big sense of boundaries. So yeah. All right, Sagittarius. I love you guys. Have a great rest of your week and take care.